Hey family, it's your girl Trish. Welcome back to my channel for another video. If you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. And if you guys are not new here, welcome back. We do all things beauty, lifestyle, and self-care related um, content here on this channel. So in today's video, I wanted to show you guys my little dossier perfume collection and give you guys a 100% honest, full um, review on their um, on their fragrances so i've been you know i've been holding been holding my full thoughts and everything on dossier year but it is this video is definitely worth watching especially if you want to save you a little, little bit of coin and still smell good on a budget so let's, all right y'all so i have a total of 10 fragrances to share with you guys from dossier if you guys are not um if you guys are not familiar with dossier dossier is a brand that offers um affordable dupes to some of these bigger um, designer brands uh, when it comes to perfumes and they do it and they offer the their fragrances at a fraction of a cost you still get that powerhouse when it comes to like the um the scent and the smell but it's still affordable so and they're definitely long lasting so i'm just gonna get into the sense that i on and then i'll give you guys like you know my opinion at the end so the first scent i have here is gourmand orange blossom and this is what their bottles look like and at the um on the bottles they the notes are at the top so that's really nice and you get the name here at the bottom and then they also come with these cards about the scent as well so it also has like the um the dupe on here it has the notes on here and it just tells you how it works at the bottom and also includes their like little mission on this card as well so this like i said this is gourmet orange blossom this one is the um dupe for lavi s bell from lincoln lancome <laughs> don't give me i i will butcher some of these names y'all um and of course this uh fragrance is by lancome um the notes on this um fragrance is orange blossom black currant hazelnuts orange jasmine patchouli praline vanilla and taco bean this is actually one of my favorites um from dossier this one has like a, a warm, it has a warm uh, floral um, scent to it. Like they're, um, the scent family is um, warm, uh, warm, warm floral. I love this scent. I've worn this one a couple of times already. I like to pair like my, um, my fragrances with like my body mist and stuff. So this is definitely one that you should pick up if you love gourmand scents and um, not gourmand scents like, but if you like warm floral scents, so. You will definitely love this scent. The vanilla and the taco bean really brings a lot of warmth to like the floral notes that's in this fragrance. So the next one I have here is Citrus Ginger. Um, this one is a dupe for the Chanel, Blue Day Chanel perfume. Um, this one has notes of peppermint, lemon, ginger, vevetier, pink, uh, pink pepper, nutmeg, sandalwood, incense, and cedarwood. And um, they did send me these perfumes, but this is, 100 percent my own thoughts on these um on these fragrances um this one i have not worn yet <clears throat> but i will so this particular scent i have not worn yet but right off the back this one has a um it has like a strong like cinnamon scent to it. Um, yeah, I could definitely pick up on this the cin the cinnamon and the sandalwood um, um, scent on this one. This one is kind of like it's kind of like a dark scent a little bit. It's it's kind of like a dark scent simply because it has like peppermint, it has a pink pepper, it has the cedar wood, the incense. It makes this one kind of dark, like a luxury type dark um, perfume. Um, this one is definitely good for nighttime um, if you're going out and you want something kind of like you know strong and a little you know dark but still feminine this is definitely one to um go for the next scent i have here is floral peony this is what the bottom looks like this one is a dupe for the chloe chloe perfume and this one has notes of peony lychee lily rose magnolia freesia musk cedarwood and honey again this is what the bottle looks like
this one has a pretty floral scent it's not too heavy really light but it's still um it's still long lasting i have worn this one before as well i paired this one with one of my scents from um bath and body i think it was sweet pea that i paired it with and it came together so well but this is not about that <laughs> bath, and body, bath and body works so like i said it's like a really light floral scent it smells really really nice um you can definitely um pick up on the musk at the end and you do smell a little the little bit of honey that is in this um fragrance so yes love this one the next thing i have here is fruity magnolia this is what the bottle looks like this one is a dupe for the Versace bright, the Versace bright crystal perfume for all the girls that love bright crystal. Or if you really want to get bright kiss, bright crystal and you haven't gotten around to getting it, get this one first. And if you like it, I will suggest getting that bigger one. Or you can just keep this one because this one's beautiful. This is a beautiful scent. Again, this is a nice floral scent um this one has notes of pomegranate uzu aquatic accord magnolia peony rose amber musk and a, a kaju wood um i can definitely um get the aquatic vibes from this one um this one says it has aquatic accord and i can definitely pick up on the aquatic vibe in this perfume it's like a aquatic um floral um scent um I don't really pick up on the pomegranate as much as like the body, like the scent says it's uh, fruity. I don't get fruity vibes. I don't get the fruity um, out of this perfume. It's more of a an aquatic floral to me. Um, it's really, really, um, it's, it's a really like, um, it's a light scent, um, a light floral scent. So if you like, if you're into the floral scents, but you don't like heavy floral scents, this will be a good pick for you. So the next scent I have here is Gourmand White Flowers, another one of my favorites. I love this one. This one is a dupe for the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Perfume. I've been wanting to get this perfume forever and I will end up getting this perfume, y'all. But this is Gourmand White Flowers. This one has notes of bergamot, green tea, freesia, berries, white flowers, orchid, rose, musk, patatouille, caramel, and vanilla. This scent is beautiful, y'all. This scent is so beautiful. It's so pretty. I definitely get the the caramel, the vanilla, and the patchouli with a little bit of floral, but it's more gourmand. It's more gourmand to me than floral. So if you love your gourmand scents, you love your vanilla scents, you like warm scents, this is for you, sis. This is for you. I love this one, y'all. Love this one. All right, the next scent I have here is gourmand patchouli. This is what the bottle looks like. Um, this one is a do for the Teary Muggler. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it's Teary Muggler, the Angel Perfume. Um, this one has notes of mandarin, berries, passion fruit, patchouli, honey, plum, caramel, vanilla, and cocoa. This one is very gourmand, y'all. It's a warm gourmand scent. You like I said, if you love gourmand scents, this is gonna be another another pick for you. This one is really really warm. It has, a, it's, it has, you get a lot of warmth in this uh, perfume. Um, you can, I definitely pick up the, um, the patchouli, the plum, the honey, the cocoa, the vanilla, and the, um, uh, the caramel. Like I said, this one is really, really warm. Um, if you like patchouli, um, the, like the, do you like, if you like the note of patchouli, you will love this because the patchouli is really strong in this one. But with the vanilla and the caramel and the caramel, and the cocoa kind of tones it down a little bit, but I can still smell the patchouli. This is a strong scent. So if you do not like strong scents, this is not going to be for you. But if you like gourmand scents and you like them really warm and you like patchouli, you're going to love this scent. So this is this one here. The next scent I have here is Floriental Brown Sugar, another one of my favorites. This one is inspired or is the dupe by the YSL Mon Paris. Perfume, that's another perfume I really, really want to get. This one has notes of bergamot, raspberry pear, jasmine, orange blossom, brown sugar, patchouli, amber, and vanilla. <sighs> yeah, if you if you love like like I said, if you love like and like um brown sugar notes, vanilla notes. Um, patchouli. You don't. I don't pick up too much patchouli in this one, but I definitely, definitely smell the brown sugar and vanilla in this scent. You will love this scent. 
Um, I don't pick up any of the raspberry or the pear or anything. I smell more so of the brown sugar and the uh, vanilla in this one with a little bit of the amber. So if you like those notes, um, this one's really warm as well. If you really like those notes, so like I was saying, you will definitely like this scent. The next scent I have for you guys is Floral Rose. I'm getting down to my last, um, the last ones I have. Um, this is Floral Rose. This one is inspired or is the dupe for the Le Labo Rose 31 Perfume. This one has notes of rose, cumin, feveteer, um, incense, cinderwood, musk, citrus, and amber. Again, this is what the bottle looks like i keep showing you guys the bottle but the, the the bottle is the same for all of them but this is the bottle for it um i have not worn this one yet most of these i've worn already but this is one of the ones i have not worn yet this one smells really pretty really really pretty you can definitely smell the rose um i can definitely smell the rose the amber and the musk not the, not too much on the cedar wood in the instance but i definitely get the floral vibe in this one it's really really nice especially if you love um rose scents um you will love this so yeah this is floral rose the next scent i have here is floral floral langy lang this is a dupe for the chanel gabrielle perfume this is it right here and this one has notes of lily grapefruit blackberry lang lang tuberose jasmine musk orange blossom and orris this one's another pretty scent. I love the note of Ylang Ylang. Um, if I ever see like perfumes with that note, I'm getting it. Um, but I love, I love that one note. This one's like a fresh floral. This one, um, I love this scent. Um, like I said, it's like a fresh floral. Um, if you love floral scents, if you like light floral scents, you will love this one. If you like fresh scents with that floral notes, you will like this one is like this as well because like i said it's like a fresh floral it's not too too um strong on the floral because you like i said it's a little bit it, it has it has a little bit of freshness to it really really pretty probably my favorite um floral out of the bunch that i have last one i have here is floriental almond it's probably my favorite one um this one is a dupe for the carolina herald good girl perfume so if you love that perfume and you've really been dying to get your hands on it get this one and then later you can get the um that one if you decide to go ahead and get it this one has notes of almond peach orris, orange blossom tuberose taco bean vanilla and cocoa y'all this perfume smells so good i've worn this one a couple of times already um i love gourmand scents i love warm scents um and then we're getting in that time of the year too so i'm definitely gonna be pulling out this one a lot <clears throat> this one here is, is is this one is really really good like i said if you like gourmand scents you'll like this one as well this one is like a warm floral gourmand scent um, I could definitely smell the almond in this one. I can smell the taco bee, the vanilla, and the cocoa. And I can smell a little bit of the orange blossom. So really pretty, gourmand, warm scents. So <clears throat> these are all the scents that I have from Dossier. I do plan on getting more Dossier perfumes with my own money if they come out with any more that I really, really like. Or if they come out with any that I um, that I am um, really interesting in trying, they're a really good brand, a, a real good brand um, to start with when it comes to perfumes. If you don't want to really um, divulge yourself with spending so much money on perfumes and having this massive collection or a, a collection of expensive perfumes, if you're on a tighter budget, um, they're a good affordable brand. They always have different deals that you could uh use to get perfume so maybe they may have like a three for something or a four for something i would definitely say take advantage of those because you save more money and who doesn't want to save money um they are also um have a nice good return policy but with dossier y'all what's you know with the and the especially the quality of their perfumes i'm pretty sure you're not going to be returning anything if you guys enjoyed this video please leave me a comment and thumbs up this video and please do not leave here without subscribing to my channel and i will see you guys in my next one Mwah.